Yad eh she e Sherilyn Yazi and she, when I got Nichle, Tots of Nebashes Chain, a she had a Chanela dot, what did you need a Chache? And welcome to Coffee Pot Farms. We're in Delcon, Arizona. I'm growing in a market style farming method with my husband, Mike, and we are growing on a half an acre. We live off grid, we are totally reliant on solar and we also haul our water for our plants. You can kind of see, you know, we're growing a lot of things for um, our community, for our uh, community-supported agriculture program. Um, we work with a senior center in Winslow, and so we're providing them, you know, um, nutrient-dense foods. Maybe you don't know, you know, we have a drought, um, and what we, as Navajo or any native farmers know is that we have a lot of challenges with land and especially water access. And so that's one of our challenges. Um, my husband Mike, he drives and hauls water from 24 miles away and he spends about 16 hours a week. So I have to pay him 16 hours a week for that. <laughs> so. One of the things that we'd like um, your support and your help with is, you know, being able to um, raise about $50,000 for, for us to be able to drill a well on our property. And that would mean that Mike would be able to grow more food here. We'd, we'd be able to grow longer, many varieties, and then maybe even extend to do additional acreage. Uh, so that's kind of where our goals are in what we're doing. On Navajo Nation, we have high incidence of chronic diseases, and so we do have only 13 grocery stores on our, on our nation. And that's hard because a lot of families have to drive very far to get their produce. And a lot of families also are low income. And at our farm, we're able to accept SNAP, EBT, and also we've partnered with um, Pinnacle Prevention to uh, do a double up bucks food program. So it's kind of like buy one, get one free type of offer. Those things are important to me because it, it's, a, it's a part of our mission. The reason we started our farm is that we want um, healthy food for our people, our community, because what we want to do is inspire them to be able to eat healthy be healthy so that way it connects us to um, to be the connection from our ancestors to our descendants because we need to make sure that we continue our traditional stories, our ceremonial songs, our prayers, and we need to be healthy in order to have that tradition and culture to keep going. For the last three years, um, each year I've been calculating that we've only been getting one inch of rain each year and that's really hard for us and it stresses us out, it stresses the plants out and then it has also led to our local um, Navajo Tribal Utility Authority and our local chapter houses to really put limits and limitations on the water usage. You know they only want it for drinking water and and I know that water is important but then we also need our food. So those are some of the challenges that we are facing. You know, having this well on our property will really be able to um, allow us to grow more food. <laughs>